Welcome to this Jane Austen Society virtual event. I'm Richard Jenkins, the chairman of the Society. Uh, this comes in place of our annual general meeting. It's not our annual general meeting. It's not a virtual version of it. It's something completely different, created through the imagination and energy and enthusiasm of Emma Cleary, to whom we all owe a great debt for this. The Jane Austen Society is 80 years old this year, and we were planning particular celebrations and new initiatives to mark this uh, moment. Uh, we were going to have two events uh, up north, uh, in addition to our annual study day, which we hold every year in London. There was going to be an extra study day in Newcastle, uh, and our annual conference uh, was going to take place in York. Uh, these things were put together, brilliantly done, by Marilyn Joyce and uh, the Northern Branch. Uh, alas, these things uh, cannot be. Uh, the intention is to hold our annual conference in York at the same time next year, late September, uh, with a programme as near as possible uh, to that which was planned uh, for this year. So there's something to look forward to. And we do have a, still a couple of things to mark our 80th year, some new initiatives. Uh, we are launching an essay prize to encourage scholarship from postgraduate students and early career researchers, and more of that can be found on our website. Uh, our annual reports uh, from 1949 onwards are now easily accessible on the internet, uh, and there's a mass of stuff to be enjoyed there. Uh, many articles about Jane Austen and her career and her family, and the addresses to the annual general meeting, which includes such notabilities as Elizabeth Jenkins, uh, Elizabeth Bowen, and uh, many more. Now, the annual general meeting each year normally takes place on the lawns of Chawton House through the generosity of Chawton House. Uh, this year, we're grateful to them for hosting this uh, virtual event. You will shortly hear from the director of Chawton House, Katie Childs, and from the director of the Jane Austen House Museum, the cottage uh, in Chawton Village. Now, we, the Jane Austen Society, as a charity, are fortunate that we have not suffered the hard financial hits uh, that so many charities have suffered. But of course, these other two charities are very badly hit by the present circumstances. They've lost their usual sources of income. So uh, I commend them to your thoughts uh, and even to your pockets. But for now, I hand over to them. And uh, as everyone is saying these days, keep safe.